a slutty Mrs. Claus dress, just to be festive. <laughs> I've started to just make my own Botox at home using almond milk, Elmer's glue, and some essential oils. I really recommend it. <laughs> it was my job to interview the jockeys after the races, and as soon as I walk into the change room, they'd all drop their towels. Well, they drop their face claws, but you get where I'm going, right? <laughs> and they all be like, hey, 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 Blondie, Blondie, look at me, hey, Blondie, look at me, over here, Blondie, Blondie, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, we are members of the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, Blondie, Blondie, Blondie. One jockey asked me out, and I'm like, what are we gonna do? What would our sex tape look like? Just me using him as a loofah to exfoliate. <laughs> Everything's a secret to a white woman, have you noticed that? Everything's a secret, but it's nothing cool or juicy, like, you know, she's banging her nephew or Movie of the Week secrets. It's... No, it's just something that's like, oh, Jill, can I get the recipe for these cookies? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. I'm not telling you. It's a secret. <laughs> what, is it made with chunks of real children? Why can't you tell me? <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, sweetie, did you get your lips done there, Jennifer? Was that the... <laughs> No. <laughs> Secret, I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Really? Because Sean Penn's using them as shelters in Haiti. So I feel like... <laughs> White women don't recognize a red flag until it's being dipped in chloroform. <laughs> Held over our faces and we're being thrown into a windowless van. <laughs> now, even when we're at the bottom of the well lotioning up, I don't know, dude. I don't think I'm gonna go on a second date with this guy. <laughs> but he's so tall, did you see his car? <laughs> <laughs> the way we segue from obviously uproarious laughter, which hopefully released endorphins and get you out of your own headspace, get you feeling better about your lives when you hear about mine. How we make this movement into meditation is by concentrating on the breath. What I want you to envision are two smooth, warm stones. And these stones are surrounded by a beautiful, white, universal light. They're descending from the heavens. And these beautiful, smooth, warm to the touch stones are gonna relax you from head to toe. Which takes us to your beautiful heart chakra. This one's easy, located in the middle of your chest, near your heart. Take a deep breath in of emerald green and send that beautiful emerald or Amazon green flooding your chest, warming your gorgeous heart. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry says, it is only with the heart that we see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. As we feel deep gratitude in our dual citizenship, we are spiritual beings renting these tuxedos, our physical bodies, connected to the skies and the earth. And also take this time to listen to your younger self. Maybe the little you has something to remind you of. A naivete, a wonder, an enthusiasm that's missing from your life. We always need mentors who are older and younger than ourselves. So you can learn from the younger you and teach the younger you because there is no time or space. And on the next push, feel free to jump off the swing like we did when we were kids. Knowing that the beautiful blanket of snow will brace your fall and then just let go. 
maybe be extra kind to everyone, especially yourself. Namaste, bitches. Thank <laughs> you.